Hi everyone, so you can tell from my t-shirt, my friend's t-shirt, that it's Sunday fun day. But you know what other kind of day it is? It's one of our favorite kind of days. It's a Stitch Fix day. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome to my channel. Welcome to my home. I am so excited to have you stop in, spend a few minutes of your day with me. It means more to me than I can ever let you know. So to my viewers, my subscribers, thank you everyone from the bottom of my heart. If you are new to my channel, I hope that you would please consider hitting that little red subscribe button over there. I would love to have you come back and join me for future videos. And today we are going to be doing my Stitch Fix. I did not expect this today. You know, I don't think I got a notice that it shipped. I know that I got the preview and I picked the preview items and then, you know, I've been seeing all these emails from Stitch Fix, but it's been the shop your looks type things, emails and things like that and new categories, but I didn't honestly see that it shipped today and I was expecting to get my, my Scentsy warmer today. You know, it's been in Kentucky for five days now. Just saying. But anyway, I got my Stitch Fix, so I'm so excited to be sharing that with you. But first, I'm going to share my cup of coffee with you because you know friends coffee I, I need a friend's coffee cup but anyway so i have got that cinnamon dulce cappuccino again i made it so it's like a cup and a half so it's not as strong for me it's a little less thick so i did add a little bit of creamer some sugar and it's perfect so cheers everyone so so good love my coffee so anyway stitch fix that's why you're here so i got my stitch fix box so anyway if uh, you are new and you're not sure what stitch fix is and i know i always say this and then i go into explaining it anyway but i'm going to leave a little video clip up here that's going to show you everything that you need to know about stitch fix and they'll also be um in my description below i'm trying to rip this open i should really come prepared with scissors i'm, I'm, I'm always thinking that i can get it but I got it yeah so and i'll have more information link below as well i'll also have a link in my description so that if you are new to stitch fix and you use my link you would get i believe you get your styling fee waived for the first box and then you get 25 dollars credit to spend on anything that's in that box i also get 25 dollars credit so it's like a win-win situation all righty the inside of my box like i said i'm not going to get into too much of it so i can go a little faster so this is my bundle you can see we got some jeans in here some denim got a cream sweater some animal print and something it's uh on my camera it looks royal blue but in well it is kind of like a royal blue navy and when we see this we know that we got some jewelry and i know i saw i, I that was in my preview so i i actually picked out that we're also going to get um, our styling card that's going to basically show you what's in your box and different ways that you can style it. I also got a note from my stylist that I don't always read, but I just want to see if I've got Mackenzie again. So let me try to put this up here and we can kind of read it together. So anyway, I do have Mackenzie again, so I am so excited about that. You know, and I know that Stitch Fix, from, from what I hear, there's just been a lot of changes in there. So that would explain why a lot of us are getting changes in stylist. And, you know, I really just think that's important for your stylist to get to know you. Uh, you're gonna, they're going to get better boxes. They're going to get to know you and know what you've already received in the past. Or if they watch videos, they know how you're styling it yourself. So they get to know a little bit more about you. And I just really think that's important. It's called customer service, by the way. Yeah. So, but anyway. I'm pleased with it. I'm happy. I'm not complaining. So anyway, so this is my fix number 43. This is everything that's in my box. So you can always, uh, at the end of this, if there's something that you wanted to ask your stylist for, you can always refer back to this and see what the item was. Uh, if there's a color that's mentioned, the size and the dreaded prices. Alrighty. So everything in my box totaled $302. If I were to buy all, we call that a five, four, five, I would get $75.50 off. So that's basically, I almost got the jeans for free if I keep it all. 
Um, that makes my total $226.50. $226.50 if I were to keep all five items. I did already pay for my styling pass for the year, so I don't have a credit to use. So, anyway, let's do the jewelry. Alrighty, so, you do get this little pink Kate Spade bag in the box. It looks like they wrapped it securely in some bubble wrap. So these, um, you know, and a lot of times I wear dangles, uh, you know, like big earrings but sometimes I don't and so this was one so we got like that pearl look and then the other one with a little bit of bling and even the uh, pearls have a little bit of bling on them so looking forward to trying that on I'm gonna try all that stuff on and then I'll be back Alrighty, so fun parts over now. It's back to reality. I'm trying to look at the prices, what's worth it to keep it, what looks good on me, what does not look good on me. This is where you come in handy because I am the worst judge when it comes to picking things out. So yeah, kind of like hashtag Nancy has no idea when it comes to makeup and skincare. Also clothes. So anyway, first item up was the uh Democracy, the Catherine Bootcut Distressed Jeans and in Indigo. You did not see me try these on. These, I love these. I've got another pair of these Catherine Distressed Bootcut boot Jeans. They're not distressed. They're the darker color and they fit perfect. And these ones sadly did not. These are, they got a little bit of distressing right here in that pocket. Love the color. Love the wash. It's got that little bit of whiskering right here i love their pockets because they're smaller because some of today's pockets on the jeans they go halfway down my thigh i do not like that look it gives you saggy butt so yeah i love the, the look of the, these i love the color these are very very slim in the leg they're the boot cut jeans got a nice little flare and probably right around here is where they got stuck on me uh just they did not want to go over my knee so uh sadly i didn't get to try these on i think um you know if, I, if it was going to be a five for five, I would try to maybe size up to see if I could get uh, maybe if a two or something was a little bit wider in the knee there. But anyway, love the color. Would love to try these again in another box. Yeah, they were really nice. These are $78. These were the most expensive items in the box. Next, and the next two items are the tunics that I wore with my faux leather Spanx. And it was just kind of funny. Um, this morning I was watching uh, Barbara Jean, Ages Just a Number by Barbara Jean, and she had uh, done a video on faux leather uh, trousers and leggings. Um, is it good for the mature woman to wear them? Is it sassy? Or is it sassy, classy, or is it trashy? If, so anyway, so I saw that, and so when I saw these ones, I just had to go and grab my Spanx, my faux leather leggings, and try these on with these. So this first one is by Pink Clover. It is the Abbey button back and it top in this uh, animal print that you know I love. The back detail on the sleeves had this uh, faux suede little patch and I think it did kind of match up with my elbows. I know in the past we've seen other people try these kind of tops on and it was nowhere near their elbow. It's got a little bit of ribbing detail here on the cuff. It is a little rounded, not a lot. The back had these 
this black stripe here with the uh, buttons on it they are there just for show they don't do anything um, I did like this I just thought I would for jeans this would probably be the perfect length or if you had regular black slacks dress slacks for me I would want to wear this as a fun outfit so I thought the leggings would be perfect but it was a little short so I had to go look into my closet and I did have a long black tank that I wore under it so it just kind of added a couple of inches down here and made it a more appropriate length for me to wear with leggings I did like it and I also tried this on I had a Franco Sarto I had on my calf hair um, the the little shoes the heels the pumps and on the other one I had my Sam Edelman uh, animal print booty so that way it could wear a different way so let me know your thought on this little item and this one was $44 this is a poly spandex elastano mix it is hand wash line dry alrighty next we have this top by Vince Camuto and I liked it but I'm not really sure if it's for me um, they're calling this navy it does have a little tiny like ribbed detail in here it is short sleeves it's got this cute little front tie knot so if you left it there it's kind of got that asymmetrical look to it I thought that gave it a fun look I love the color on this the length I think is perfect for for leggings um, I just don't think it did me any favors um, like in this area so let me know your thoughts on this so again this is Vince Camuto it's the short sleeve split neck not front tie top they're calling it navy this is a size small this is a modal and polyester mix it is machine wash line dry this was $54 again I love the color I like the idea of this I love that front knot and the length I just don't think it did me any favors so let me know your thoughts on that Alrighty, next we have these Kate Spade earrings and I've got them on so here I've got the uh, the pearl ones right here it's got the little rhinestone clip chips in it and then this one is the uh, kind of gold colored one that's got the bling so I do like these I think um, you know a lot of times I'll wear um, you know my touched on crystal by Swarovski and they're maybe more bling a little bit more loud I think this is perfect when you want to kind of have just a kind of a classic look and not kind of be overpowering so and again this is what these look like in both pairs so this is $68 and I am leaning towards keeping these I think those are perfect for work and when you need to wear something a little more something business appropriate and you want to kind of tone it down a little bit Lastly we, lastly, we have this uh, top. It's by 41 Hawthorne. It's called the Kelly Cable Knit Pullover. It does have this, you know, regular cable knit detail. Got some loose threads there. A little bit of cuff sleeve. The hemline, we have that ribbing as well. It's a nice lightweight. It is super, super soft. So this is 45% uh, acrylic, 45% poly polyamide which I figure is a polyester mix and it's 5% cashmere and 5% silk really really soft this is machine wash on gentle and lay flat to dry it's $58 so um, as much as I liked it I mean it's it's comfortable it's got a really nice fit on me um, I think it is kind of thin so I think wearing it with the jeans and I was I think I was trying to show that when I was uh, wearing it that you could see the jeans here and then you could see my skin so don't know if that's a deal breaker or not um, I think it did have a nice fit it's super soft super comfortable uh, going into winter you could always wear a camisole under it or a cardigan or a blazer on top but for now it's it's you know going into fall I think it's a perfect weight and again so this one was $58 and that was everything that was in my box so need your help looking forward to your help and comments on telling me what I should keep or what I should send back and I just want to thank you guys again for taking time out of your day to spend with me it means so much to me so anyway I hope you guys go out enjoy the rest of your week and we will chat again soon bye bye everyone Oh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Very, very important in the uh, YouTube world.